Give speed. So, my name is Mike Bolin. I'm from Inwood. I used to work here. At the same time that I worked here, my mother worked in the bar next door. My sister worked in the bank next door to that. And uh, yeah, I used to grind up the cheese in the back, mix the pizza, chop up the sausages, all that kind of stuff. Great neighborhood. Everything's changing, but now it's still called Pizza Haven, and it was called Pizza Haven even back then, last century. 1969, whatever. I was like 15 working here. And uh, yeah, that's the story. So you got, you got Piper's Kilt right behind you? Tell me about that. Well, that used to be called McSherry's Bar and Grill. And they had a jukebox in there. My mother was a waitress there. My sister worked in the, in the bank next door, which was called Harlem Savings. My mother... I used to come down, I went to school at Good Shepherd, I used to come down here at lunchtime and sit in the back of the bar. My mother would bring me a burger and some french fries, that was my lunch. And also, about every couple of months the guy would come around and change the records in the jukebox. And that's how I would get the, the music that I listened to when I was a kid. My mother would bring the old records back home. And I'd listen to Lady Godiva, Beatles, all kinds of great music, you know. So great memories from here. And how many bars were there around when you, when you were growing Inwood up? Inwood had more bars per square foot than any other neighborhood in Manhattan. I think they had like over a hundred bars in Inwood. And it was because a lot of people came over from Jersey because the drinking age was 21 in Jersey. But it was 18 in New York. So everybody came up to Inwood for the bars because that's where all the Jersey girls were. And uh, yeah, there was a bar on every corner. So tell me about some of the bars. Well, one of the most popular bars was the In Between, down on Sherman and 207. Very popular. Sherman Avenue was known as the Strip, one bar after another, you know, and a lot of drag racing as well. Um, down here was a couple of bars on Isham Street. Uh, the Green Leaf, I think, was on Isham Street. The Green something. Um, the Hitching Post was up the street on 204. Right along 207, a lot of bars, a lot of bars. The in-between, uh, the rack, a bunch of grapes, the old shielding, um, quite a few great bars. And you told me once about a bar called the Bucket of Blood. Yeah, on Dykeman Street. The Bucket of Blood, on the corner of Payson and Dykeman. And it earned its name. There was fights in there all the time. Um, the guys from Dykeman, it was kind of like between Jersey and New York, you know, you know, the, the, uh, what do they call the competition between the two or whatever, or the pride, you know, so it was the same thing between the guys from Dykeman and the guys from up here, you know, rough, tough guys, you know, bragging rights for the neighborhood, you know, a lot of fights, but it was a great neighborhood to grow up in. And mainly Irish? Mainly Irish, mostly Irish. Hence all the bars, you know. So, uh, great it, neighborhood. The Capitol Restaurant, one of the only places around here besides the uh, Pizza Haven, which was back in the day and is still here. Yep. Well, thank you, Mike. You're very welcome. And now I'm going to go into what used to be McSherry's, but is now P&K's, and I'm going to eat my basket of shrimp I have a few more Budweiser with my good friend Cole Thompson. Well, that sounds awfully nice. <laughs> Sayonara.